Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve for the value of x given this nice radical expression here. We have x times square root of x times square root of x. This is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Now let's prevent the solution here. So we have x times square root of x times square root of x. This is equal to 2. So the first thing to do here, let's square both signs. Let's square both signs. So that now here we'll have x to power 2 multiplying by, we eliminate the first square root sign. So that's multiplying by x, then times square root of x. This is equal to 2 to power. Now this is raised to power 2. The next step is that x to power 2 times x, x is raised to power 1 here. And given that a to power n times a to power m, this can be expressed as a to power n plus m. Now applying this exponent property, then this implies here we have x to power 3 multiplying by square root of x. This is equal to 2 to power 2. The next step from here. Again, we square both signs here. So that now, x to power 3 times square root of x squared, this is in the form of a times b raised to power n, which you can express as a to power n times b to power n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to power 3 raised to power 2 times we eliminate the square root sign here, so times x, this is equal to 2 to power 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Now here we have x to power 6 times x, this is x to power 1, this is equal to 2 to power 4. Now, since the bases are common here, so this implies that we can have x raised to power 6 plus 1, which is 7. This is equal to 2 to power. Now here we have 2 to power 4. So this implies that x, so for x here, we multiply both signs by 1 over 7. So this is equal to 2 raised to power 4 times 1 over 7. So that now here we have x equal to 2 to power 4. This is the same thing as 16. So this is the same thing as 16 raised to power 1 over 7. So x is equal to, this is the same thing as the 7th root of 16. The 7th root of 16. Or rather you can have it 16 raised to power 1 over 7. So this is the value of x. Now the next step here is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now if you recall here we have that x times square root of x times square root of x here. This should give us a value of 2. Now, substituting the value of x, we have 16 raised to power 1 over 7 times the square root of 16 raised to power. Now, this is 16 raised to power 1 over 7 multiplied by square root of, this is 16 raised to power 1 over 7. This should give us a value of 2. Now, we have 16 here, raised to power 1 over 7, multiplied by, now we have the square root of 16, raised to power 1 over 7, times, we can express the square root of 16 to power 1 over 7 as 16, raised, raised to power 1 over 7, then times a half, times a half, because if you have square root of a, this is the same thing as a to power a half. So we are applying this property.
That's why here we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 raised to the power half. This should give us a value of 2. So let's proceed. So now we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 square root of 16 raised to the power 1 over 7. Now here we can express this as 16 raised to the power 1 over 7. Now we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 multiplied by here we have 16 raised to the power, this is 1 over 7 times 1 over 2, which is 1 over 14. This should give us a value of 2. The next step is that we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7. Now here we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 times square root of 16 raised to the power, this is 2 plus 1 over 14. So we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 multiplied by square root of this is 16 raised to the power 2 plus 1, this is 3 over 14. This should give us a value of 2. So the next step here, we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 times, we can express this, the square root of 16 raised to the power 3 over 14 raised to the power half. This should give us a value of 2. Now, this implies that, this implies that we have 16 raised to the power 1 over 7 times 16 raised to the power. Now, this is 3 over 14 times 2, which is 28. This should give us a value of 2. So, therefore, this means that from here, we can express 16 as 2 to the power 4. So, here we have... 2 to the power 4 raised to the power 1 over 7 multiplied by 2 to the power 4 multiplied by this is 3 over 28. This should give us a value of 2. So let's simplify here by 4 1 by 4 7. So we have 2 to the power, this is 4 over 7 times 2 to the power 3 over 7. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power n times a to the power m. This can be expressed as a to the power n plus m. So we have 2 to the power 4 over 7 plus 3 over 7. This should give us a value of 2. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to power, the LCM is 7, so this is 7, 5 by 7 is 1, times 4, this is 4, plus, here we have 3, this should be equal to, to 2. So this implies that we have here, 2 to power 7 over 7, this should give us a value of 2. So 7 and 7 simplifies, so we have 2 is equal to 2 and this shows that the left add side is equal to the right add side so this implies that the value of x which is equal to 7th root of 16 or 16 this to power 7 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe and you have new technique of solving this country showcase in the comment section